Okay, I thought we uh, played our best game offensively of the year uh, Saturday night as far as getting into a rhythm, uh, you know, good production, both yardage-wise, first down-wise, uh, point-wise. So uh, I thought there was a lot of positives there. Uh, Eddie Wide uh, and the offensive line uh, for the sixth straight week, uh, you know, over 100 yards rushing, uh, uh, school record, which is uh, good to see uh, Eddie get. It was well-deserved. And, and again, Eddie and the offensive line uh, did a great job. Uh, getting that done. Uh, Jordan Wynn thought he played well. First Division One start, he was poised, he was confident, made good decisions. Uh, came away with pretty good numbers, threw for almost 300 yards, uh, did have an interception. But, uh, you know, his efficiency rating was about 170, which is very good. If you can do that every week, you'll lead the country or certainly be in the top two or three. So, so he threw the ball very well. Um, David Reed, uh, Jeremy Brooks, big nights uh, as wideouts. You know, Jeremy had uh, over 100 yards in receptions. Uh, David had six catches, and, and so just a lot of good things on offense. Good to see the uh, offense click and, and uh, start to, uh, like I said, get into that rhythm. Defensively, I thought we played solid. Uh, you know, gave up a couple scores, one early, one late. Uh, in between uh, those scores, we were, we were very good. Uh, played the run game pretty tough, uh, you know, 80-some-odd yards, which is a uh, you know, good night for that. Uh, special teams, solid, no, uh, you know, no real... Uh, Errors there, no significant errors, and did some good things in the in the coverage units. So anyway, overall, it was a good good uh, good evening. Um, you know, obviously we're moving on to TCU now. Uh, you know, it's a big game; they're all big games, but this one has uh, certainly uh, more implications as far as sole possession of first place, and that's really the the most important aspect of the game. Is whoever wins as the season's winding down really uh, has uh, you know the inside track. So. So it's uh, you know a game that uh, we'll prepare for just like we always do. Uh, go through our routine, and uh, you know hopefully we'll play well. We're going to need to because they're a very very good football team. Coach, why why is Andy Dalton as effective and efficient as he is? Well, for the run the run game, you know they're they're the run game at TCU right now is uh, the best in the conference. You know you look at yards per carry, which I've said many times that is the real barometer, and they're leading the conference yards per carry. They run the football uh, more than anybody in the league except for Air Force, and they throw the football less than anybody in the league except for Air Force. And so they're very committed to the run, and when you can run the ball effectively like they do, that sets up the throw game, particularly the play-action throw game. And uh, Andy Dalton, he's a talented kid. You know, He's going on three years as a starter now. He started as a freshman, and so he feels very comfortable in their scheme. And when the run game is in high gear like it is right now, that opens up the, uh, the throw game for him. Kyle, um he brought up the TCU running game. From your perspective, you know, as a defensive coach or anything, how difficult is it to prepare for a team like TCU that doesn't run the ball with one particular person who spread the carries out between five or six different players? Well, it doesn't really matter who's carrying the ball. It's the scheme, and, uh, you know, that's what you prepare for. You know, they plug different backs in there. They got th two or three backs who are doing a very good job, and so that, that really doesn't play into it. It's just making sure, you know, your gaps are, are uh, you know, your fits and your gap control is sound. And you've got the schematics of it down because you know who's carrying the ball. Uh, you know, as far as when you play TCU, especially this year when they got so many guys who are capable, that's not really a big issue. It's just making sure your your defenders are in the right spots. Do you see a lot of parallels in the program and the, the type of athletes that you recruit? You got a lot of playmakers on offense. You both are committed to the run game and the defense. Are there are there a lot of parallels? And did you do you look at programs like that and see their success? And, and do you guys kind of emulate each other? It seems like to an extent these programs are similar that way. You know, there could be. I think there. I think the, uh, you know, the type of athletes that we target, uh, you know, in recruiting are similar. And of course, we hit Texas very hard. You know, we've uh, increased our uh, signees from Texas uh, over the years, and you know, we're going to be soon at you know 20, 25 players on the roster from Texas. So, so I think that uh, you know the guys that we target, both us and TCU, are very similar. Uh, athletically and, and what we're looking for. Um, and so that, that's probably the biggest similarity right there. Coach, you've had so much uh, success in the last two seasons. Can you talk a little bit about how you, you can lean on that, the experience of the big games and so forth with this team? Well, you know, number one, we're the defending champ. I mean, we're, you know, it's, uh, you know, the, the championship trophies in this building and, and uh, somebody's got to take that away from us. And, and uh, you know, that's, uh, you know, the first thing we tell our guys is, hey, you know, TCU is a very good football team. We respect them. And they're, uh, you know, just, like I said, hitting on all phases. But, but uh, you know, the bottom line is we've played some good football this year as well. And, and uh, you know, we're going to show up on Saturday night and, and line up and, and uh, see what happens. You guys have had uh, the best success against TCU, the only team in the conference with a winning record since they joined the league. Why have you guys fared so well against these guys? 
Uh, you know, probably the best answer is I think, like I mentioned earlier, our personnel is similar as far as you know what type of uh, personnel we both have, and, and uh, the profile of those players is, is uh, you know very very resembles uh, each other very closely, and so that's probably the, the the thing I'd say was the most important factor is is we match up uh, athlete athlete wise on a lot of different levels. Last year, you guys were able to hold Jerry Hughes. He was almost had no effect on the game or the outcome of the game last year. What, what scheme-wise were you able to do last year, and does that carry over to this year? We didn't do anything uh, significant uh, or different than uh, most other teams do. What we had is a great outing by Dustin Hensel, our right offensive tackle. He played maybe his best game as a Ute. And uh, you know he was just extremely efficient in that game, and that was the biggest difference, more so than anything we did scheme-wise, was Dustin's, uh, you know, his performance in that particular game. When you talk about the national exposure that college game day, three of the last four weeks is at a Mountain West Conference yeah. school. Yeah, that's great. I mean, it's great for the conference, and uh, you know that is uh, remarkable when you think that they've been on a, a Mountain West Conference uh, campus three of you know three weeks, uh, let alone in the entire season, as opposed to in the last few weeks, and so. Uh, you know, it's uh, you know it's great for the conference. It's great for the schools involved, and uh, just more uh, argument for the Mountain West Conference on a national scene in general. You had two hundred-yard rushers last week. You mentioned Jerry Hughes. Um, with all the changes on offense, talk about the play of your offensive line and how important that will be this week. Yeah, they've done a nice job all year long. Um, you know, because running backs are not going to get hundred-yard games without offensive line play that's very productive, and so. Uh, I think we've done a, a you know a very solid job on the front. We have not uh, been sacked excessively, and uh, we've you know done a good job in the run game as far as our efficiency. And so that and they're a group of guys that never get enough credit. You know, I, even myself, I don't talk about them enough or or give them their props, but but they have done a nice job.